Alcohol is a widely consumed beverage worldwide and has a significant cultural resonance in human history, especially in Africa. While some cultures embrace alcohol consumption as a source of enjoyment, excessive drinking is often considered not morally upright. In today's video, we are covering the top 10 alcohol consuming countries in Africa. Number 10, Botswana, 5.98 liters per capita. The drinking scene in Botswana reflects a mix of traditional drinks like Bojalwa in rural areas and imported beverages in urban centers. The government of Botswana imposed a heavy tax levy on alcohol products in 2008 in an effort to mitigate the problem of heavy drinking in the country. The tax levy was however later slashed from 55% to 35% in a bid to attract investors. Number 9, Equatorial Guinea, 6.11 liters per capita. Alcohol consumption in Equatorial Guinea is influenced by social, economic, and cultural factors. Local alcoholic drinks like Malamba, Nkonko, and Rumbot are commonly enjoyed in Equatorial Guinea alongside commercially produced beer and imported spirits. Number 8, Rwanda, 6.35 liters per capita. While Rwanda's economy is rapidly growing, its drinking culture is equally growing. Rwanda's local beer, like Sokol and Primus, dominate the scene alongside the margins of other imported beverages. The government of Rwanda has however adopted a radical policy to reduce alcohol consumption and its harmful effect. Number 7, Gabon, 6.47 liters per capita. In Gabon, drinking is an extremely popular passing time activity, particularly in rural areas, and is often easier to find a bar than a place to eat. Regab is the national beer of Gabon, produced by the only brewing company since 1966. The country has other traditional drinks in addition to the imported ones. Number 6, Uganda, 6.82 liters per capita. Drinking alcohol is a big part of Uganda's culture and social life. Uganda's local drinks such as Malwa and Waragi are a favorite to many and they share with friends. In bigger cities like Kampala and Jinja, nightlife revolves around alcohol. According to a report by the World Health Organization, about 80% of alcohol in Uganda was unregulated, brewed and sold at home. Number 5, South Africa, 7.21 liters per capita. South Africa is the largest beer consumer in Africa, accounting for about 1.8% of the world's total beer consumption. South Africa is home to 542 wineries, harvesting 1.4 million tons of grapes to produce 10.2 million hectoliters of wine. More than 300,000 people in South Africa are employed in the winemaking industries.
Number 4, Burkina Faso, 7.28 liters per capita. Many people in Burkina Faso drink a lot of alcohol as it is a big part of their culture and easy to find. Local alcoholic drinks like Dolo and Banji are often served in social gatherings and festivals in Burkina Faso along imported spirits and commercially produced beers. Number 3, Eswatini, 7.68 liters per capita. Formerly known as Swaziland, the Eswatini people consume a lot of alcohol due to cultural traditions, limited regulations, and other socioeconomic factors. Drinking is a very common pastime activity among Swazi men. Although Eswatini women are discouraged from excessive drinking in some cultural events, such as the Marula ceremony, you will find many drunk Eswatini women. Number 2, Tanzania, 7.81 liters per capita. Tanzania is a country with diverse ethnic groups which contribute to its rich drinking traditions. Mnazi or coconut palm wine is a famous drink at the coastal region while banana beer is brewed inland for ceremonial occasions. Tanzania is the second alcohol consuming country in Africa consuming about 7.81 liters per capita. Number 1, Seychelles, 9.48 liters per capita. And finally, topping the list of the top 10 alcohol-consuming countries in Africa is Seychelles with its alcohol consumption at 9.48 liters per capita. In Seychelles, you will find bars and resorts serving locally made alcohol as well as imported wines catering for both locals and tourists. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Be sure to like, share and subscribe as I bring you more information on the African continent, people and culture.